Okay, so in continuation with the reconnaissance series, so in this one I'll be looking at the harvester. It's a very simple, very quick tool, so I won't spend too much time talking about it. So what's the harvester? It's a tool that you can use, especially on Kali Linux, to be able to find subdomains, email addresses, virtual hosts, open ports, employee names, and different things from various uh, sources. So you can search uh, search engines like Google, Bing, Baidu, and quite a number of different repositories. Now, when you just install it, um, it doesn't necessarily have everything connected. Um, so you might have to set up API keys. But in, in this example, I just use a basic, um, a, a basic search uh, without necessarily making any of those API uh, keys. And you see that it still gives out some information. And for this, I'm using a Kali Linux virtual machine. Um, so this is Kali Linux here. Um, and if you don't have the tool, you can try installing it like this. But um, I would assume that it's already installed if you are on Kali Linux. Okay, so the command that I ran and uh, the result is here below just to show you that it searches through several things. Right, so this is the command that I ran. So the harvester minus D, D is the, the, the domain I want to search. So I search swashy.com and then the list is restricted to about 20 results. Then where do I want to search? I want to search through every repository that the harvester can access. As you can see, there's lots of things it can access, but I've not set up the API keys for all of these. Okay, all of these, I've not set them up, all right, including GitHub. So you can search from quite a whole lot of sources if you, if you set it up correctly, right? But um, here at the bottom, so it was able to search using Brave, the Brave browser, LinkedIn, uh, the IP address that it was able to find. Uh, it wasn't able to find my email address, but it was able to find three hosts. Um, these ones for the mail server, uh, for the subdomain, and another subdomain that, that, that's actually listed um, as part of my uh, domains. But, um, of course, if, if, if you had everything, all the API set up, uh, it could find from way, way, way more sources, right? In this case, I haven't set up the API keys, uh, but it shows you that even just in terms of finding IPs, finding hosts, uh, searching through LinkedIn, and things like that, it's able to get certain ones out, even without setting up the API key. So, that's what I wanted to show. Um, here in the tutorial, I showed using, um, so this is from the website, you can go to this link and see. Okay, I searched the Cyber Academy website, so it was able to tell me the autonomous systems where uh, I was able to find uh, that the domain is coming from these two autonomous systems. It found two interesting URLs, uh, these links here below, and then it found two IPs being used, found one email address, found a lot of hosts for different things, right? Of course, if you want to, to view the various options that it has, right, you can just say the harvester minus H, and then uh, it should be able to list the different things that you're able to search through, okay? So the domain is most likely the one you'll be searching, but you can search using Shodan, which I've showed in another video. You can search for a DNS server using minus E, and quite a number of other options. So it's quite a, a handy tool, um, but I think there's quite a lot of uh, less technical tools that are able to give the same information. So uh, that's just uh, my opinion, but you can try it out and then see if it works for you. So if you like the video, if you learned something, like, comment, and of course, subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.